Good morning. Here we are on a Tuesday morning, and we are continuing with what we started yesterday. We're, we're talking about Jesus, and for some time now, we are going to talk about Jesus. We are walking with Jesus through the book of Mark. I'm afraid we are often imp- uh, kind of prone to look at what the church expects us to do, or what people expect us to do on some level or another, and we lose track of the fact that we are, at the root, Christians. We are all focused on Jesus, and therefore it's very healthy for us to step back and to get away from the doctrinal issues that are issued in in the various epistles and all of the questions that are raised there and let's get back and look at the real heart of the issue, and that is Jesus himself. This book of Mark offers us wonderful opportunity to do that. And so I hope that this is going to be beneficial for all of you. Uh, I received some positive feedback from this yesterday, and again, I would like to hear from you. Uh, but this is very important for us to talk about Jesus. This week, in my three daily messages this week, we're going to just get started because we're talking thing about things that are at the very beginning of Jesus' ministry. Uh, yesterday, we were talking about the Holy Spirit uh, being a part of the baptism that would come along under Christ um, and how that differentiated itself from uh, everything else. It was There was the baptism of John for repentance and for remission of sin. But then Jesus came and he introduced us to the Holy Spirit. And that makes all the difference. And this new covenant under which we live is really focused on the initial work of Jesus and the enduring work of the Holy Spirit. So we are going to continue with this. Now, I want to read to you from Mark chapter 1, verses 9 through 11. And this introduces to us a new topic for us to give some consideration to. This is what it says. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Immediately coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens opening and the Spirit, like a dove, descending upon him and a voice from out of heaven, You are my beloved Son, In you, I am well pleased. Why was Jesus baptized? John's baptism was a baptism of repentance and for the remission of sins. Our baptism, according to what we read in in Acts, in Acts 2 and in Acts 22, it is for for repentance and for the remission of sins. But Jesus didn't need either of those. He had never sinned. He didn't have anything he needed to repent of. So why was Jesus baptized? This opens up to us, I think, a very interesting chain of of thinking. And for a little more detail, we might have to go outside the book of Mark. Because in the book of Matthew, in giving more detail about this event, It was Jesus himself when John the Baptist was asking, why am I baptizing you? I'm not worthy to do this. And Jesus said, in this way, it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. So God's great plan of righteousness is fulfilled in this act of baptism that was that was being uh, addressed at this point. So, why are we baptized? Why was Jesus baptized? Because it's all a part of God's great plan. It was his plan for a reenactment, and in the case of Jesus, kind of a, a foreshadowing, but a reenactment for us of the death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus, according to Romans 6. And so this is God's great plan. 
that each individual life would go through this transformation point at which we are baptized and at that point of baptism then some wonderful things happened as we talked about yesterday it is at the point of baptism that the we come in contact with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit comes to dwell within us another thing to consider here is that Jesus was was leading the way he was the leader the spiritual leader actually Lord of all mankind and in this he was not telling people to do what he was unwilling to do and though the need of repentance and for erasing sin was not the, those needs were not present in his life there was still the leadership that he was exerting in showing that this was God's plan and he was willing to do that just consider if Jesus had not been baptized and we would still have all the instruction other instruction on baptism we would indeed want to be baptized but there would be many that would say well Jesus never was why should I be and we could give an explanation for that but how much clearer does it make it when Jesus led the way and said we're going to fulfill all righteousness in doing this and he allowed himself to be baptized by John this also was the the starting point actually for a newness of life even in Jesus up until this point he had been an obedient son he had worked in his father's carpentry shop he had he had been uh, the oldest in the view of the world the oldest son in this family and at some point evidently Joseph died and so J Jesus took on a role in his family but we came to this point and just as baptism is a newness of life for us so it was for Jesus as well this was the beginning point of his ministry we know that we are cleansed at the point of baptism so that so that something significant happens in us the cleansing takes place in us actually so that someone new might move in we're getting rid of all of the old old things are passed away we are new people in Christ so that the newness of the Holy Spirit coming to live in us is not conflicted with the oldness of what we were before so we are made new at that point. So Jesus has demonstrated that this is how our own decision of discipleship begins. He was demonstrating his purpose on earth starting at this point. And we thus demonstrate our purpose on earth starting at this point of baptism. We each have our own personal walk with Christ. We each look at the life of Jesus and we look at the instructions of, of Paul and Peter and the rest of the New Testament writers and we understand that there is an obedience that is necessary for us. And it is at that point of baptism that all of this starts. So we begin our walk with Christ in our newness of life just as Jesus started that new phase of his life he was baptized because it was a part of God's great plan we are baptized because it is a part of God's great plan if this brings up any questions please feel very free to contact me I'd look forward to talking to you about this and I know that there may be someone that is looking at this and really you've never submitted yourself to being baptized I would love to talk to you about that but these are important things Jesus was setting the pace for us even at that point he was willing to be baptized and then he was turning around and saying come follow me I hope that you'll follow him the rest of this day and make it a great day bye they resound with God's own heart Oh, let the ancient words impart Words of life, words of hope